Hello friends, welcome to X Amitian Smithy Notes for Biotechnology. In today's lecture, we will be studying about transgenic mice as a model for human diseases. It has three models that is gene knockout, gene knock-in and conditional knockout. So let's start with gene knockout mice. Here, knockout means basically that a gene which is already existing is replaced with an artificial piece of DNA. Let's look at the procedure, how the gene knockout works. The gene which is supposed to be knocked out is isolated from the mouse and then a new DNA sequence is engineered. The stem cells are isolated from the blastocyst using the method electroporation and the knocked out stem cells are then inserted into the mouse blastocyst. The blastocyst is then again transplanted into the uterus of female mice that is the foster mother. The offsprings are chimeric. They are crossbred with wild type which produces no chimeric mouse but they are heterozygous. The heterozygous mouse are again interbred with some of their offsprings will inherit the knocked out gene from both the parents that is they become homozygous. Let's revise it again. We have a blastocyst which was a wild type ka cell. Tha. हमने उसको फॉस्टर मदर के अंदर इजेक्ट किया जो ऑफस्प्रिंग्स आए हमारे पास वो काइमेरा थे विथ नॉर्मल एंड वाइल्ड टाइप दे वर क्रॉस्ड आफ्टर क्रॉसिंग देम हमें हेट्रोजाइगस मिले दैट मींस दे वर डिफरेंट दिस वाज अगेन क्रॉस ब्रीड देन टू प्रोड्यूस होमोजाइगस बेसिकली सो दिस इज द मैकेनिज्म फॉर जीन नॉकआउट this type of model can be used to create mouse model of human genetic disease and can also be used to determine the functions of gene as well. We face problem in collecting the material so I have collected it from two three sides and combined it for you so that your question has good points in it. Next is gene knock-in mice. This means an exogenous gene is introduced. That means we are introducing a new gene from outside. The genes are inserted into a specific locus and thus targeted insertions. The process of gene knock-in can also be studied by Cree-Locks recombination system. A DNA construct containing a specific gene as such as a muted gene or a reporter oncogene is taken basically. Then these genes are exposed to the sites of Cree recombinants. This results in the omission of intervening DNA. Then the modified gene is introduced into the endogenous locus. That is between two lock sites a Cree site is introduced. Embryonic stem cells now carry the modified gene into the cavity. And then it is implanted into a surrogate female mouse where the mouse embryo matures into a chimeric mouse. The offsprings of the chimeric mouse carry the gene knock-in, the gene which we introduced in the very first step. That is their insertion between two lock sites. Now next model is conditional knockout mice. It is almost same as knockout but in this the gene which is eliminated is eliminated from a certain tissue example liver so that means a certain tissue from a certain tissue a gene gets eliminated it targets specific gene at specific time it mostly works on the technique that is Cree lock system also called as site specific recombination. The Cree recombinase recognizes the loci of recombination locks that causes deletion of the gene between two lock sites. I have shown the diagram which shows the mouse containing the Cree gene and a mouse containing a lox gene were made to breed basically to generate a new conditional knockout for a particular gene of interest. The mice do not naturally expresses 
recombinants or lock sites but they have been engineered to express the gene products to create the desirable offspring this shows in the diagram draw the diagram and explain it as i am explaining we face a lot of difficulty in collecting the material for a conditional knockout so i have collected this material from the book and differentiated between three so do go through them thoroughly they are used to study human diseases create mutations in embryonic stem cell it is believed that the mutation that is brcn gene are linked to breast cancer and scientists are using this cre recombinase recombination to delete the brcn allele that is found and this plays an important role in human tumor as well I have mentioned various points where it is used and its applications you can use any of them and write them to make your answer a good one I hope you are clear with the three gene knock in gene knockout and conditional mice differences for any other suggestions or doubts do let me know and yes do not forget to like share and subscribe and do share your reviews with me thank you